Yeah, so uh, could you say something about your film, what it's about and how you got it made? Uh, well, Tierra Brillante, Brilliant Soil is a film about, uh, it's a film that gives voice, give voice to an uh, indigenous artisan. Uh, uh, it shows their, her dreams and aspirations to create a better conditions uh, for her craft and for her family, better healthier conditions. And it's about uh, a, a health issue that is uh, not well known in Mexico and also around the world, which is the use of lead in glazed ceram ceramics in Mexico, which is a major health issue for the artisans that are working with lead every day and Erlinda which is the main character of the film is, is one of the few artisans that are now working lead free and through the film we can see her story how she succeeds to, to better her craft and help the her, her community to overcome that uh, awful uh, health uh, problem. Okay. Um, and uh, do you think that film can change the world? And if so, how? I think I think uh, the film could change uh, the perspective of who can see it. Uh, the film change our perspective of the issue and in a sense changes from inside. And I think that it's uh, more... See, from that it's, it's possible to change your immediate surroundings and eventually that will trigger like a ch major change. We believe in that and we believe that people who see the film, who see the film will, uh, will manifest the same thing, that it, it's, it's not that... It, it, because the, the issues that are addressed in the film are so complex, the, the realization that you get after finishing seeing it is that you might, as a consumer, you might be able to do something about it. It could be a small thing, but it will uh, trigger change in a, in a larger scale. So, yes, in a sense, I think uh, our film could will change uh, the world as we see it, but uh, it, it has to start with uh, small steps and from the individual, not not, uh, not being naive that it will change the world, not, ne not necessarily. It changes us as an artist and we are uh, seeing the world in a different way, so in that sense it's, the world is changing. Uh, thank you. And uh, how did you actually get to make the film? Was it a struggle to make the film? Was it easy to make the film? What did you have to go through? Uh, uh, to You said you spent a year just living with people to get to know them. Could you say something about well, this? We were lucky to uh, secure funds for it. Uh, we had enough money to bring a crew of people who were um, like-minded people to work in the project, uh, to be willing to uh, lived together for a while. We rented a house and we were living as a, as a group uh, of people working together but also living together for a period of time of, for almost a year in Michoacan State in Mexico and that was the major, the major uh, like um, difficult task to achieve like to, how can you it's very different just to work with someone and then living with the, the same individual is change everything so uh, being able to communicate and to really respect each other and manage to maintain sustain and harmony and all that in, in the in the in the team was a really hard thing uh, but we managed to do it and at the end uh, the end result I think reflects that we as a group of people doing it the film were uh, in, in harmony in, 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 good, in good shape in good spirit um, and what about um, the people that you were filming uh, in the indigenous people that you were filming how was it actually getting to film them? Did you just walk straight in and say we're filming you, or, or how did you? How did that go? Uh, we we get uh, referred from one one of the other lead characters of the film, which is an anthropologist, Victor. He's also an activist. He been working with uh, these communities for about 20 years, so he knew pretty much everybody in the in the in the. Uh, Pottery uh, community, so uh, 
he refer us to uh, eventually Erlinda, which eventually became the lead character of the film. Uh, that gave us uh, an entrance, an access of, of trust with, with people from those communities. But also, we were really respectful, and and we followed like the, the the structure that is in place in those communities, which is the like the communal communal authorities. You have to approach them and ask them for permission to be there. So they grant us permit to film in the community and after that everything went really smooth and we uh, spent most of the time collaborating with the families of potters uh, and at the end that's when we start like taking out the camera but at the beginning we're more like understanding what is going on and collaborating, uh, spending time together and then uh, naturally uh, the opportunity to film their lives were like accessible. That's great. Um, and have you ever seen a film that's changed your life? And if so, what film and how? <laughs> that's a hard question. Let me think a little bit. It can be any film, any way, any language, anyhow. <laughs> From childhood to, to grown up to anything. Uh, In any way. Well, uh, in different moments in my life, for example, there was a moment when I saw, the, the moment that I was leaving, and, like, the emotional moment uh, I was passing through when I saw, for example, Fight Club was a uh, uh, change, kind of changing my perspective, uh, because it's a film that talks about uh, really get rid of, rid of all the conventions and all the like the, the imposed ideas from the structures and from the corporations. I mean, I was in that moment that that message really crossed uh, to, to myself and it was uh, changing in that sense. Also, I saw a film of uh, Lionel Rettel, uh, which is he's a documentarist uh, filmmaker, well known uh, documentarist in Europe and in America, and he did a film. Uh, I think it's called the yes, the Eye of Eye of Eye of the Moon, and it's an amazing documentary about uh, the, tells the story about this family which lives in, in Jakarta, and and he follows uh, like for years her her story and. And it was uh, changing in the sense that uh, I aspire to uh, uh, create or real uh, produce a film in such a quality and such a honesty. So it's it's changed me in that sense that uh, redirect me uh, for what I want to do uh, as a filmmaker. So it's an inspiring film. Inspiring filmmaker. Also, I don't know. Uh, there are other films that, that I like, but I, I don't have that. I don't recall one right now. That's great. And do I have your permission to use this on YouTube or a section of it in a documentary called "Can Film Change the World"? Yes, you have. Super. Thank you. Okay. And thanks very much.